and welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Now today I wanted to talk to you about creating those little flip books. I don't know about you, I use them all the time in the classroom, but now that we're virtual learning, distance learning, all that good stuff, I wanted an option to be able to take notes in a flip book. And I'm going to show you today how to create that. So these come in handy in the event that you don't want to do a full digital interactive notebook. Maybe you just want to have little um, notebooks over different sections. That's what we're going to do today. Let's dive in. So I was creating this one for my geometry students with all the formulas. We're going to create one very similar, but we're going to leave it as a template so that you can use it over and over for any subject, any topic that you need. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, hop onto Google Slides. I'm going to label this as Flipbook Template. So the size doesn't matter. You can have it whatever size you would like. If you want to plan on printing it, there would be some additional adjustments you would want to make when you printed it. But for now, we're going to just use it digitally. I'm going to change the background of my page. You can choose whatever color you would like. And I'm going to insert shapes. And I want the rectangle with the square corners. And I need to control D and make as many tabs as I would like for my flip book. So now we're going to add our title to our flip book. But for this one, because it's our template, I'm going to just put title goes here. So you can use word art, fonts, and then use extensive fonts, rainbow fonts, whatever you want. If you need more help with that, I'll link a card up above here of the video all about fonts. My favorite is Cherry Cream Soda. It's my favorite font. I'm going to change the color. You don't have to change the color now. You can always change it later. And then I'm going to duplicate it. This adds a little more dimension to my title. And then we're going to change the box, the rectangle here, change the color. Do the same thing here. Change the color. So once you've added all your colors, I went ahead and labeled each of these. All you have to do is edit the first one. So I'm going to highlight that. I want to change it to ultra and I want it to be centered. Now, when I click on this paint roller, click at the beginning here with the paint roller, it will do that to each and every one. Saves you some time. Okay, that part's out of the way. Now control M will add a slide or go right here and you can add a slide here. We don't need any of this. I do want to color code it the same that I have here, first, second, third, and fourth page. And I remembered that I started with this pink and then I went down the line. So add another page. Because I have it the way I like with nothing on it, I'm going to just control D here and that'll give me my next page. That'll save me a couple steps. Background. to do is to link this rectangle to the correct slide. So highlight it, go to link. So I want it to go to slide two. Click on the next one, insert link, and that one matches with slide three. And lastly, slide five. The only other thing, then of course you would this is where you would add your notes, but I like a way for my students to be able to get back to the first page. So if you go to insert image, and in just a moment, I'll show you the quickest, easiest way to do this over many slides. And I like a little home button. What you do is you shrink it down, get it to the size that you want, 
and you link it to the first slide. Once you have that link, if you highlight it, see how it's highlighted, control C to copy, control V will paste it in the exact spot that you wanted it from the beginning and it's also linked. So on every single slide, it continues to be linked. So that's a little shortcut hack for you. So what did you think about the flip books? How could you use that in your classroom? Let me know in the comments down below. How are you gonna use it? I use them all the time in geometry. What class are you gonna use them for? I've even seen them used as like a flip book for all the important numbers and stuff. You can do that as well. Give it to your students. You can link it to your Google site. You can embed it there so that parents have one spot to go for all the important information about your class and how to reach you. Or you can post it in Google Classroom with the same resources. This flip book is very handy. Tell me in the comments, how are you gonna use it? I'd love to hear from you. Now remember, step out and be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.